Hi, I'm Don. And I'm Julie, but you already know that. And this is the lesson from, you're looking at your watch. What was it yesterday? I, I'm waiting for you to tell me. It was March 8th. It was March 8th, 2011. This was our West Coast Swing beginner lesson at Cadillac Ranch. We did an underarm turn, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Then we did an eight count whip, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. The intermediate lesson was similar, but adding a clever little walk at the end. We did an underarm turn, three and four, five and six, one, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight, a throw out, one, two, three and four, five and six. The whole thing from start to beginning, which everybody loved was- Or start to finish. Start to beginning, yeah. It was... It's early. One, two, three and four, five and six, Whip, two, three, and four, five, six, another underarm turn. One, two, three, and four, a Mario walk, which is what we call this extra special pattern. Five, six, seven, and eight. Throw out, two, three, and four, five, and six. So, are you ready to go, can you think? It's early. It's early. All right, so what we're going to do is the rhythm and we're starting with the rhythm of a six count pattern. It is, ladies on your left foot, gentlemen on your right foot, walk, walk, triple step, triple step, or one, two, three, and four, five, and ladies, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, leaders, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Walk, walk, triple step. There you go, for those of yours who have different learning styles. No, no, wait, walk, walk, triple. Walk, walk, triple step, triple step, sorry. We knew that. All right, underarm turn. If you imagine that we're standing between a set of railroad tracks, I have a rail here, I have a rail here, and in between the two rails is what we call a slot. I'm gonna go back and forth in the slot. If Don wants me to pass him, he will have to get on one of the two rails. For the underarm turn and for the way we're standing, Don is going to get on his left rail while I pass by. We say one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Don, my So, time. gentlemen, we are going back at an angle. One. He's on a rail. Two. Step together. Three and four, our hand is starting to turn. So, my hand was a palm up. Now, it's actually going to be turning so that I can see what time it is, which is actually 9.30. Three, Three and, and four. four. It goes overhead, triple in place. Ladies, on one and two, you're going to be stepping forward as he leads. We asked you not to release your arm so that you're following with your arm. We asked you to have Barbie arms so that when he leads your arm forward, your entire body comes forward. We step forward on one, two. On three and four, we notice that Matt McConaughey is standing somewhere over there. We still need to go back down, straight down the slot. However, we're going to rotate our shoulders slightly so that we can see Matt, and our feet will be doing what's called a French cross. So we step forward, angling to the side. We cross our left foot in front of the right foot as the hand goes over our head. That's three and. On count four, we're going to be stepping sideways and now turning to look at our partner. And then on five and six, rotating to face our partner and stepping our anchor in place, which for the ladies is left, right, left. Here we go one more time with the ladies' footwork. Forward, 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 cross, side, anchor in place. That was the underarm turn. From here, we went to a whip. A whip is an eight count pattern, so you need to count up to eight now. It looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Gentlemen, this is where it gets fun. Our basic footwork. So John, the ladies in front of us, we did our one, two, our angle together. Ang one, two, left, right, left, step in place. I told you to look over your right foot, uh, your right shoulder. Five stepping, six, and then triple step. You're pretty funny. All right, so if Don's back was to you, I'm gonna act as if I were in that video that you just saw, that piece of the video, so I'm gonna start stepping with stepping forward towards you. On one and two, I'm gonna step forward on one. On two, Don is gonna ask me to turn. My goal will be to get back my advance, but mostly we'll probably end up doing one, 
two or two, you can see how that kind of waffles depending on the lead. The main point is that on count three, we need already to be turned back to what you're seeing right there and then stepping a coaster step, which is back, together, forward. So on count four, our right foot is forward. And in a minute, you're gonna see that the right foot will be between his two feet. So the first half of this is one, two, three, and four. On count five, Don is gonna be moving out of the slot, stepping across the slot. So depending on his lead, he'll either step sideways on five, or he may ask you to step more back on five. Again, this is kind of depending on your leader. That's five. On six, clearly you'll be stepping back down the slot in the direction that you came. This is count six on my right foot. And then anchor in place or seven and eight or left, right, left. So all put together, the ladies footwork for a whip is one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Doing it toward the camera, from both directions, we step one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And with my back to the camera, we're stepping one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Couple things, gentlemen. Uh, our hand on the one, two, our right hand goes up. One, two. Hopefully it'll be on her shoulder. One of the rules that we asked you to stop and check out several times is that the lady not be past the gentleman's right shoulder on count two. So you can do that, leaders, in part by putting your hand out. Secondly, you can do it by making sure that this J lead happens as she takes her first step. One, two. Often what happens is you lead forward on two counts. Go ahead and do that. One, two, and at this point I'm supposed to be turning. I don't think so. So uh, the other thing that you can do to sabotage this, please don't, leaders is stepping forward on two. If you step forward on two, there's very little I can do not to pass your shoulder, all right? So a bunch of things you can do to make this work. Stop, yeah, and my left hand, because we were talking about hands, goes onto his right shoulder. So gentlemen, we're doing one, two. One, two, three hand is in place, but our right hand is gonna expand three and that's an elbow i'm not sure that the hand expands but the elbow does unfold this is an interesting saturday morning you know that <laughs> on four gentlemen we are stepping into the slot we are we're not right in front of her but we are a little bit askant offset would be the word i would use is we're looking over each other's right shoulders so i can look straight down line of dance he's slightly onto his right from here gentlemen we're taking that momentum we're looking over our right shoulder stepping onto our right foot five on six we're going to let her go by and triple in place again one two three and four five six triple step wonderful and that was part one that was part one and we'll see you in just a minute with part two bye